Hello, everybody, and welcome back to a new episode of Comeback Format. It's me, Will, and today we're going to be taking a, uh, a closer look and testing out a new film from Polaroid that just came out a couple of weeks ago. This one is the Green 600 film reclaim series uh, that, again, just came out a couple of weeks ago. And of course, I, as soon as I saw that they were going to come up with a new film, a new color film, I picked it up. And um, so this is what we know so far about the film. Um, they are claiming that it is kind of like the, that kind of experimental type of film, something that was created by accident, similar to what they did with uh, this film. This is the Blue 600 film that came out last year. I did a review about this one in my channel as well. Uh, really cool film with kind of like shades of blue, black, and white. Um, and they're also claiming that it's also, uh, they're also using the chemistry from this film, from Polaroid, which is the, the yellow duochrome film. This is the old version, the old box that I have uh, from in, in my collection from the Third Man Records edition. But it is essentially like a, just a black and yellow film. Uh, so they're saying that it's kind of like a mix of those two in, uh, according to the listing on the Polaroid website. So we'll see how that works. Uh, you can get this one, a single pack for $17. I got the three pack because you get a better deal. $45 for a full three pack, so you get a better deal. But if you want to spend a little bit more, you can get the five pack for $72. And so far, it is only available at the Polaroid website. I'll put a link in the description. Um, again, new experimental film, uh, and it is compatible only with the vintage cameras from Polaroid, the vintage 600 cameras. So for this one, I'm going to be testing the film using my, uh, this one is the Polaroid Job Pro that takes 600 film vintage camera. I love using this camera. Uh, definitely a conversation starter if you see somebody out there using this camera. So I'm going to be testing it out. I'm going to be testing out the green 600 film with the Polaroid Job Pro out there with my buddy Hunter, of course. Uh, so yeah, before doing that, let's go ahead and go into Z mode. All right, we are now in Z mode and we're going to be doing a quick unboxing and loading of this green 600 film reclaimed series. So let's go ahead and see how this works. Also a closer look at the box right here. You can see a test photo of um, the inventor of this type of film and some additional details. And it does mention that it is only for vintage 600 cameras, uh, as well as the iType cameras and the Polaroid Lab. Uh, just so you know that you cannot use the newer type of uh, cameras from Polaroid in, with this film. And as I mentioned, we're gonna be using this uh, Job Pro uh, to test out the film. So let's go ahead and open up this guy. I can. There you go. And as usual, what you do is just open up the cartridge right here from the camera. And a lot, I get a lot of these questions on my channel. Uh, a lot of people are wondering where, how do you charge cameras like this, or where does the battery go? Uh, this older vintage uh, cameras from Polaroid don't have. Uh, don't have a battery. The battery is right here in the film cartridge. So you don't need a battery or to charge these older vintage Polaroid cameras. Uh, so we'll put it in and get the blank page out. Welcome to paradise. Love that song. And now we're ready to shoot. So of course the first picture is the mandatory picture of Hunter at the deck. And when I took this first one, it was a little bit late in the evening and it was uh, definitely very shady and a little bit darker than I thought it would be. And this is what I ended up with. And as you can see, uh, I did not like this picture very much. Uh, first of all, Hunter's out of focus. I think I stood a little bit too close to him. And also he's uh, overexposed while the background is um, probably exposed okay. But I didn't like this picture, this picture at all. So I ended up trying it again the next day, the next morning, when the light was a little bit better down in the, at the porch. And this is what I ended up with. And I think it's a little bit better exposed. And the picture did end up with a little bit of a, an imperfection at the very top of the film. I'm not sure exactly what happened there, but with Polaroid pictures, that sometimes happens. 
uh, but Hunter is better exposed, he is in focus because I, st I stood a little bit further behind him, so I like this picture a lot better. For the next picture I wanted to see how this film performed in a very high contrast situation like this one with Hunter standing in front of this log with lots of different shadows and uh, shapes in the background. And I was very pleasantly surprised in the result because uh, Hunter was actually uh, properly exposed with the flash and the background was a little bit underexposed but you can still see a lot of the different details from the leaves and the branches and the shadows. And I actually ended up really liking the, the, green, uh, the different shades and hues of green that this film uses for, for everything in the, in, the, in the image. So I ended up liking this picture quite a bit. The next two pictures were uh, a little bit tricky because as you can see we were quickly losing light. Uh, the sun was going down so it was very shady and I was afraid I wasn't going to get the, co the correct exposure and as you can see I didn't. It was very underexposed especially in the background. Yeah the flash was able to uh, get a decent exposure on Hunter and the bridge there but I didn't really like this one very much uh, because of the background. And we were in a similar situation right here, uh, very shady, very dark, but I wanted to see if I could get a little, at least a little bit of detail on those leaves on the, on the bridge. And I did here in this picture, you can see a little bit of the details there. And I do like the exposure in Hunter, even though his facial expression is a little bit uh, weird. But again, the background is just so underexposed. For this next one, we ended up going to a place a little bit further away from the trees and from all the shades, uh, the shade from the trees. So I think we ended up getting a little bit of a better background there where you can see all those different leaves. And I really like the way that the green and yellow looks in the background. And yeah, Hunter may ended up a little bit underexposed. Maybe I was standing a little bit too further out from him so the flash couldn't reach him very well. But I still like this one quite a bit. I think it's one of, one of my favorites out of the batch. This next one was near the end of our hike and I wanted to get a little bit of a candid picture of Hunter just roaming around freely. And I like this one a lot. I think you get a really cool facial, facial expression on Hunter, like he's looking for something or maybe some treats. And uh, again, a little bit underexposed there in the background, but you can still see some of the details and the highlights that, that are created from the, uh, the branches in the trees. And I also like to get a picture of Hunter in the car uh, after our hike. And I ended up liking this picture a lot too. Uh, even though he's completely out of focus, uh, that's not an issue really with the film, it's more of an issue with the photographer because I was definitely st starting a little bit too close to Hunter when I took this picture. And uh, But anyways, I do like this one a lot because you can clearly see the high saturation and uh, vibrance of the yellow in the highlights of the image. Uh, I really like that color, while at the same time you can also see the dark greens and the blacks in the shades or in the shadows of the picture. All right, so we are back from our little photo hike and from trying the new green 600 film from Polaroid for the very first time. And I think I'm ready to give you my final thoughts and review on this new film from Polaroid. Uh, but before getting started, I will say that when I first learned about this new film, uh, I was a little bit skeptical about it because usually I don't like the color green, especially when it comes to portraits. Uh, I usually find it a little bit of an unflattering type of color. However, after trying it for the first time on this green 600 film, I do like the effect that it creates combined with the very vibrant and highly saturated yellow in the highlights of the images. Um, it's definitely not perfect, still Polaroid film, so it's gonna, it can get a little bit tricky to get the right exposure. But I do like the way that the green looks with the yellow. I thought it was a really cool effect, especially if they're taking a closer look at a lot of these pictures that I got of Hunter. So definitely something new and unique to add to your tool belt. Uh, so you can create something more creative and different than what you can normally get with the standard uh, black and white or color or even the dual chrome film from Polaroid. So kudos to Polaroid for putting out there something new for instant and analog photographers out there. Definitely a really cool uh, new film, the green 600 film from, from Polaroid. Uh, just one word of advice, as usual when it comes to shooting with any kind of Polaroid film out there, make sure that you take a close look at your exposure levels uh, or at your exposure in general. It can get a little bit tricky when it comes to the instant pictures, especially with the vintage cameras. 
Uh, but it's, uh, if, you're if you're doing portraits and if you're using the flash, make sure that your background is well lit or it has enough light in the background. Otherwise, you're going to end up with a little bit of an underexposed image like I did with some of my pictures that I showed you earlier. Uh, just, um, just some advice that, again, applies with any kind of film uh, that you use, uh, any kind of Polaroid film out there. Uh, but yeah, highly recommend it. Definitely a fun film to play around with. Let me know what you think about it in the comments. Have you tried this out? I would love to hear your thoughts in the comment section. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye-bye.